Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Chris with Triple Helix Gaming and this is our Race to the Elite 4 Pokemon series where we are racing from Pallet Town to the Elite 4 in Pokemon Blue version and as of the end of last episode we were navigating through the rocket hideout in the uh, games corner in Celadon City. I forget, I didn't even, <laughs> I went too, too fast through that, I don't even know what I got. It was a... something I already had because... yeah. Um, I'm, how do I get around here? I need to go over here. I need to take this one and then this one. And then I think I need to go down. And I need to take the top one here. I'm gonna get into a battle with this guy. It's no choice. I'm gonna cut. Alright. Try to train the ones that don't have super high levels. go down here what is that that's an HP up and then there's a guy around here somewhere and must be this guy all right and then I talk to him and he drops the lift key okay so we take lift key and then what is this over here TM2 that one is that's HM2 this one's razor wind okay so maybe I'm more addicted than I thought uh, so we have the lift key now we need to get back to somewhere we can use the elevator there's gonna be a guy oh I already fought him there's no elevator here so to get to the elevator, maybe I need to go up another one. And then what floor? I need to get... Oh, I need to go back to the place that I was originally. So this comes out. Go back down. This is the first floor. And we're going to take this route back to the elevator. It's all a complicated clusterfuck. Got to take this one to go down. And stick with the top one. And stick with the top one. Guys, if you're new to Pokemon, that is like the most frustrating part of the whole damn place. Let's go to basement four. And then I fight these two guys. And we plow through them. Let's fight. And water gun. And then Arbuck. I don't like Arbucks. They have big, annoying pictures. And this is Master Giovanni. I think he has all rock types, so it makes him pretty simple for me. And I'm going to evolve into Blastoise. So that didn't take very long. And he leaves the Sylph scope, but I have no room for items. So we're going to... Hmm. We're going to teach Horn Drill? No, nobody can learn it. How about Razor Wind? I know I can teach that to someone. Pidgey's trying to learn Razor Wind. We're going to forget Sand Attack and learn Razor Wind, and then I can pick up the Sylph Scope. And I think I can use an escape rope to get out of here without... Awesome. Alright, so now what do we need to do? Beat the rocket, guys. 
Self scope. Okay, so self scope will allow us to go to Lavender Town. I can just fly there. What am I doing? And then in Lavender Town, I can use the self scope to identify the ghosts that are in here. But I have to fight my rival again. So let's try to fight through as much as we can with. Oh, let's go. Let's see. He's a water type. Let's go to an electric. Uh, we can try to take him with a electric type. And we're gonna bring out. Oh, you know what? Let's let's just stick with it. Doing some work. Uh, bring out nine tails. I like how his main Pokemon is level 25, which is 11 levels behind mine. any of those attacks so I'm gonna have to bring out somebody with a special attack I need to put special attack first so we're gonna switch you up to the top need the room for items HP up actually I can use that I have two HP ups now I think let's use that on Blastoise keep on climbing the tower and then there's this little health regen zone where all of our Pokemon get healed found a nugget our way through these guys are paying seriously well and then the Marowak and I don't think you can catch it I think see if I can catch it yeah it dodged it you can't catch the Marowak so we're going to kill it and we're going to continue we're gonna have to fight all these rockets and then oh I forgot dig doesn't work on Zubats so we have to use scratch the whole way through One thing I hate is how quick Zubats will confuse you, and then once you're confused, you end up hurting yourself and killing yourself in confusion, and it's no fun, and quite the, the party pooper. Alright, I gotta bring out Ninetales. Bring out Blastoise. Hello, Mr. Fuji. He's going to go ahead and give me the uh, Poke Flute. Oh, I have no room for his item. So, what can we get rid of? TM7 is Horn Drill. Uh, TM10 is Double Edge. Can I. Any of them can learn Double Edge? Well, let's teach Double Edge to. Hell, who needs it? Jolteon? Let's, let's remove sand attack and learn double edge and then we can get the pokey flute now we're gonna go to the mart since we have eighteen thousand dollars 
we're gonna buy well, first we're gonna sell the nugget it's 5,000 and we're going to sell elixir no I forget what elixir do oh well we're gonna go ahead and buy We're gonna need like 15 great balls. Because we're gonna try and catch the Snorlax. Uh, we're gonna buy. Actually, you know what we need to do? We need to go dump off some of our unused items. So we're gonna go hit the Pokemon Center. And we're going to go to Bill's PC. My PC, sorry. The item storage. And we're gonna deposit things that I don't need right now, like the Helix Fossil. The SS ticket, which I'll never use again. Uh, moonstones. Don't need those. We don't need TM7. Uh, we'll never need the lift key again. And I don't think we'll ever need Sylph Scope again. So. I forget what Elixir does. I'm going to. Uh, Check that out real quick. I'll figure it out. I'll look it up later and... I forgot half my Pokemon are fainted right now, so let's heal them up. And then... As we make our way down here... We conveniently have a electric type. How nice. We're going to find Snorlax. Oh, the convenience of having an electric type. I just made back like all the money I just spent. <laughs> So what we're going to do, because these are really annoying, is we're going to save the game. Slot 1 and slot 2. And we're going to play the Poke Flute. So Snorlax attacked in a grumpy rage. So it starts sleeping. And he's still fast asleep. This might be a lot easier than I thought. Now, nah, even with like no health. I forgot I got rid of Drowsy. Man, that thing does some damage, huh? Uh, let's just try a regular Pokeball. Not sure why, but... No, you missed. Has to be a Great Ball. So now it's paralyzed. And asleep. Let's try another great ball while well, it's... I missed. <laughs> These things are so incredibly hard to catch. You can go through this for days. Let's see, what could I use to possibly... Hmm. Man, it does like no damage. I don't want to do too much damage, that's the thing. <laughs> Man, they break out so easy. We're just going to go at it. 
There are two of them. So if we don't catch this one, or we accidentally kill it, The problem is that when they wake up, they're much harder to catch. Can I get it? I'm gonna try Pokeballs again. Got it. Alrighty. So after all that great ball attempt, it's only six foot eleven. I feel like it would be bigger than that. I know that in the show it's bigger than that. So we're not gonna give a nickname to Snorlax, but that will allow us. Now I know that one of these has. There it is, Hyper Potion. And we're gonna make our way in here. And then all these people that I have to fight. I actually forget where I am right now. I think I'm making my way over to Fuchsia, but I could be completely wrong. If I start finding Dittos, then I'll be on my way to Fuchsia. Dittos are also incredibly hard to catch. Oh no, I'm back in the uh, <laughs> Vermilion City. Okay, now I know where I'm at. That was very strange. Um, where am I going to fly to? Celadon? Yeah. Oh, we want the Snorlax. Alrighty, who can we deposit that we don't need? We need pretty much, let's see, we have a fly. We have cut. I'm trying to think if I need cut anytime in the near future. Um. I guess I technically don't need nine tails, so we're going to deposit nine tails. And we're going to withdraw Snorlax. Now, let's take a trip back to Cerulean and check on how our Magikarp is doing, because if he's grown by 19, then we can get him to be a Gyarados. Thirteen. That means he's level eighteen. So one more level. We're gonna go ahead and fly to Celadon again. And there's another Snorlax, so maybe we can have two if we can catch both of them. So let's play the Pokey Flute. And if you remember how hard the first one was to catch. Nope, I killed it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, over there is the cycle road. So in order to go to the cycle road, I need to get a bicycle. So we're going to fly to Vermilion City. And then there's a guy who gives me a bike voucher because I was listening to him talk for so long and he's like oh I'm so sorry that I've annoyed you I think he's in this house he is and it's this guy up here he's like Rapidash is my favorite Pokemons oh look at the time thank you for listening here's a bike voucher and we're going to fly our way I keep going to item fly to Cerulean and in Cerulean we're going to go to the bike shop that's the market this is the bike shop 
And that guy's gonna be like, oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Here's a bicycle. And we're going back to Celadon for like the fifth time. We're gonna go through here. And we're on our bicycle. Got the money for winning. Let's see, what should I delete? Let's delete Growl for Slash. Fight another guy. Oh, wow. Hello. I'm poisoned. Dark Trio fainted. Uh, we need to keep going. Alright, so now we are at Fuchsia. I think there's a guy, I forget what he, he trades you for like a lick a tongue. Alright, so I need to get a Slowbro and I need to get an Abra. And that way I can get Mr. Mime and lick a tongue. I think I can catch Fearos down in here. Oh, that's right, this is a trainer battle. Uh, let's try cut. I know that this is probably going to end poorly. Radicate. This is just some good training. There's a Pharaoh. I wanted that. So we're going to try to not kill it. So Pharaoh was caught. Nope. And now I have another Pokemon that knows Fly. That I can use instead of my pathetic Pidgey. That's going to be the Safari Zone, so I need to go down here, go to uh, Pokemon Center. Oh, that's right. To get over there, I need to go all the way back around this way. And we need to go in here. That's the Future City Gym, and uh, that's Kogo, right? I forget his name. Alright, I remember we're in a new town, so it's time to save the game. And we are at 23 minutes into the video, which is about our quitting time. So if you guys have made it this far into the video and you like it, please make sure to leave me your feedback. Like up the video, give it a good old-fashioned thumbs up, favorite if you really think it deserves it. And if uh, you still aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.